A very good morning, dear children. We will continue today with chapter six, composition of matter. In the last class, when we were studying, we learned that from the molecular formula you can find out valency. Okay. Today, by looking at the valency, we will find out molecular formula. Okay. So this is what we are going to be solving today. This is a picture which has been taken from your textbooks only. Okay. So. the first element is what we are going to find out we are going to find out what will be the molecular formula of the compound that is made up of carbon and hydrogen okay so carbon the valency is given as 4 and hydrogen valency is given as 1 so you need to find out what will be the molecular formula okay so we'll start with this first thing you do is you write the symbols of the elements given we have to find out for carbon and hydrogen so the first thing you've done is you've written the symbol for carbon and symbol for hydrogen just below that what do you do is you write the valency of these compounds uh, sorry valency of these atoms so you're going to write this as 4 is the valency of carbon and 1 is the valency of hydrogen okay after you have written the valencies of these atoms you will cross multiply so carbon will be 1 hydrogen will be 4 so you write it as c1h4 or you can also write it as ch4 so ch4 becomes the molecular formula for the compound that is made up of carbon and hydrogen okay now this because you have the cross multiplication happening that is why whenever you have a formula written you will always have the valency of the second element coming to the first one and the valency of the first element going to the second one that is why from the formula you will understand what the valency of carbon was 4 because hydrogen has that number and valency of hydrogen is 1 why because carbon has that number that is because of this cross multiplication you will always have the number of the second constituent element coming to the first one okay let's take so this we will write it in the table first so this is how we will write it in the column we will write the molecular formula of the compound as ch4 okay we we'll look at you will understand this when you are giving more examples the second thing is what you're going to solve now we need to find out what will be the molecular formula of the compound which is made up of nitrogen and hydrogen valency of nitrogen given as 3 and hydrogen given as 1 so first what do we do we write the symbol of nitrogen is n hydrogen is h below that we will write the valency valency given is what 3 and 1 and then we will cross multiply so when we cross multiply we get n1 h3 as a formula 1 will not be written if so you will write this as nh3 so nh3 is the formula from this we understand what is the valency of n 3 h1 because you have cross multiplied the formula has come nh3 okay so we'll write this in the table again so nh3 is a molecular formula of the compound formed from element n and h okay now we look at the next example f e and s we need to find out what will be the molecular formula of the compound that is formed from f e and s okay so first we start with so here we start by writing the symbols first so we start with f e and s and then we write the number that is valency so it is 2 and 2 and then we cross multiply so this will be fe2 s2 now because both the numbers are the same they get cancelled i repeat because both the numbers are the same okay they get cancelled and the entire formula will become fes so when the numbers are the same or the when the numbers can be divided from one another they actually have to be divided and the entire formula will change so here 
the this uh, the formula will be F E S. Okay. Now here, even though it's written as F E S, you have to understand that the valency is not one one. It is two two. It's just that it has got cancelled, so the formula becomes F E S. So here in the uh, table we will write this. That is F E S is the molecular formula of the compound which is from form iron and sulfur. Okay. Next example we will take. We need to find out the molecular formula of the compound that has carbon and oxygen, which has a valency of four and two. So we'll just try to solve this. So we start by writing the symbols first. That is, we'll write carbon. That is C. Oxygen is O, and we'll write the valency four and two, and then we will cross multiply. Okay. After you cross multiply, you'll get this as being C two O four. But we know that these numbers which are given, they can actually cancel each other. So after you cancel. It becomes CO2. So CO2 becomes the molecular formula of the compound that consists or that is made up of carbon and oxygen. So we write this in the table. Molecular formula is CO2. Okay. So this is how molecular formulas of substances are being found by looking at the valency. Your valency helps in finding out the molecular formulas of various compounds. I hope this is clear. Thank you.